and welcome back to my channel. My name's Monica and today I will be showing you an updated Barbie collection for 2021. So I did one of these last year, but since I've got so many new Barbies over the course of the year and changed up my setting and that sort of thing, I thought I would show you all what I have now. So please enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. So let's get into it. So we're going to start with this cabinet here. This is the one that's in my room. So it's uh, one of the Billy bookcases from Ikea and then I've attached the glass doors to it. So not much has changed since the last video. So first of all, up here, I have some pops and I have some dolls. So on this side here, I have the Dumbledore doll from the Harry Potter range and I also have Begodigal. I really want Snape, but I actually haven't seen him anywhere in Perth yet. So I'm still on the lookout. At the back here, I have my Xena doll. So that one there is Callisto right at the front. The back there is Amazon Princess Gabrielle. I actually have Xena in the middle. And then on this side here is just normal Gabrielle, I think from season two onwards. So then moving down to the first shelf here, I'm gonna open the doors. So this bookcase, you have to be a bit careful if you have the doors on it, it can be quite heavy. So we've had mine drilled onto the door or else it actually does fall forward, which is very dangerous, so be careful. Um, so with this one here, most of these dolls are either thrifted or I have found on eBay as well. So this one here is the Cali girl, she's from the early 2000s. I found her in a thrift store cleaned her up and then I bought this whole outfit from eBay. And then this one here, Flower Fun Barbie from the 90s. She's missing the flower on the front of her dress, but otherwise she's in complete condition except for the shoes. And I got her at a thrift store as is. This one here is this, uh, I think it's Sparkle Beach or something like that, uh, Barbie. And she is complete, I got her off eBay and she was in perfect, perfect condition. This one here is Ibiza Barbie. Got this one off uh, Facebook Marketplace. She's complete, including her shoes, which is amazing because not many of them actually are. So I should have said this section here is kind of like my 2000s and early and late 90s. So at the back, this one here is Bike and Barbie. She's a staple, she's fully articulated. So her outfit is complete. I got her off Facebook Marketplace and she came with her bike as well. Next, this one here, I'll just move the hair. She is Saint Tropez Barbie. I got her at a thrift store, cleaned her up, and then I bought this swimsuit off of eBay. Next one here is the Glitter Hair Barbie from the early 90s. Her shirt's in a little bit rough condition, but she's still great. She's got her skirt and she's got her shoes. I have this one and then behind her in the box, I have the black version of her, I think the light's terrible, that I got a while ago, complete in box. I got her because she was actually my first, my first Barbie. So I wanted her in the box. Uh, this one here is another beach Barbie. I can't remember her name, but I got her off Facebook Marketplace as well. She's complete even with her necklace and she does have shoes, very cool. So the ones over here at the front, these are all my superhero Barbies. These are the ones that sort of started my collecting journey again when I was probably 11. So the first one I got was Wonder Woman Barbie. She is a weird rubber material, so you can articulate her arms into any poses, but because of that and the material, the costumes made of it sort of has aged quite badly. So I took them all out of the boxes. I still have the boxes, but I just wanted to have them as well. So then I got Supergirl Barbie. She's the same, the weird material. Um, she's still complete. They all came with stands with the insignias on it, which is very cool. And then the other one here is Batgirl. So I ended up getting her when I was overseas. I hadn't seen her in Perth yet, but she goes with this collection. She has her Batwing as well, which was attached to her hand, but it's now come off. I just place it there. Following that, I got the Invisible Girl Barbie. So these were all a similar line. They came out a couple of like years apart. So she has 
invisible arms, but then the rest of her is just like a normal Barbie. Also got Poison Ivy. So she was a Christmas present from one of my uncles. She's very similar to the Wonder Woman with the plastic that's been damaged over time because she's always been stored immaculately. It's just the way she is. And then on this side is Mary Jane from Spider-Man and she's the wedding one from the comic. So she's in a wedding gown and she's got beautiful shoes. I love her dress. I love her hair. I love everything about her. She also came with a little Spider-Man mask, which it might still be in the box. At the back here, which is very cool, this is a reproduction 1959 Barbie and it was for the 75th edition of Mattel. So she's a silk stone and she's limited edition. I think there's 20,000 of them worldwide. So she's beautiful. She comes with a stand and she comes with sunglasses as well. But I've kept her in a box relatively um, because, yeah, I don't want to take her out. I got her at a great price at a Myers, but she's going to be worth so much more because she is limited edition. So that's that shelf. So this is the second shelf down. It continues into my 90s and early 2000s journey. So on this side here, this is the Sun Hair Barbie. I always forget their names, um, but she's the one I had as a child, but then I found this one at a thrift store in great condition. So she's there, she's there next to Skate and Barbie. She is in perfect condition as well. I got her on Facebook Marketplace. The only thing she's missing is her knee pads. She has accessories and stuff, but I've kept them separate in a container. Then this one here is a Swan Lake Barbie. I've had this actual one since I was a child. That's why her dress is a little bit damaged, but she came with a stand, which is cool. So I've had her a very long time in my collection. She also has the molded eyelashes which as a kid, you know, I never had that. So it's pretty cool. This one here is one of my later editions. I found her in quite a bad way in a thrift store, just naked. So I combed her hair out. As you can see, it's very long, combed it, treated it. And then I found this outfit on eBay. So this one here is the gold version. When you get Barbie and her friends, there's one's a pink, no, one's a purple and one's a blue. So the gold is the original Barbie one. Her fringe should be laying straight, but I didn't, wasn't able to fix that, but it still looks fine. Um, so behind them here, I've got Rapunzel Barbie. So this is the original 1995 Rapunzel. As a kid, I had a different version of her, but I loved this one as well and always wanted one. So I was happy to get her in the box. Then behind, I've got Catwoman. I had taken her out of the box. I still have it, but she's not secured in there. She's just kind of floating, doing her own thing. And then, which is super cool, I've got the Spice Girls dolls here. So I've got Baby, Posh, Sporty, and at the front here, I've got Mel B, Scary Spice. I'm just missing Ginger Spice, so I'm still on the hunt for her. She's surprisingly hard to track down, but I hope I'll have her eventually and I can complete my collection. So in the next shelf down here are some that I've had forever and some that are quite recent additions. So when I was little, I got this Dorothy Barbie. I put her on lay-by and saved up for her and then I got her. She's on a stand that I bought. She's missing her ruby slippers and she's missing her accessories because I've had her for so long and she's a bit marked. At the same time, my sister got this one this is the Glinda. She's also missing her accessories and stuff, but we had these together and they both talked and they worked together, which was very cool. So she's let me store her with uh, Dorothy. My sister also got the Cowardly Lion. So he's here and I've stored him with these. So these were the three we had as children, but then when I was older, I tracked down the Tin Man. He's still in the box from the same line and the Scarecrow. So then moving along, I have Superman Returns. This is the Lois Lane. You can see she's got the two different colored eyes. She's got a beautiful dress. I was always tempted to take her out of the box, but I'm glad that I never actually did. So then I wanted the Superman to go with her. So I got this one for my birthday and he's the Superman from that movie in his complete outfit. At the front here, I have Popstar Barbie. She's just a regular 
one you can get from Kmart and that sort of thing but I loved her hair I loved her outfit and I decided I wanted her so she's in here also I've got this fashionista Ken he's pretty cool because he's got this long surfer hair and a tie-dye shirt shorts and shoes so he's very cool I also have Heidi Klum I still have the box for this but I've taken her out so she Heidi Klum basically looks like a Barbie already so they didn't have to work very hard to make her any different she's got the molded eyelashes like the Swan Lake Barbie she's got this pink sparkly dress a ring she's posed really nicely and then has got such long legs just like Heidi Klum and she came with a stand and then finally on this shelf I've got the Elton John Barbie this is a very new one in my collection I love how they made a Barbie that was inspired by Elton John but wasn't an exact copy of him so it's all sort of clothes and accessories that he would wear and styling and especially the glasses and this one's limited edition and the box is so cool it's got these 3d stars and letters on it so it's a little bit different than just the normal square boxes finally the very last shelf here it's a bit of a mix and match of different things so I have here the Barbie 50th anniversary reproduction of the original 1959 Barbie. She's not silkstone like my other one. She's just plastic, but she's in there and she's got one of the original dresses as well and a little fashion and some information about her. The next one I have is Australia Barbie. So my best friend got this for me for my 18th and she's got a koala on her and she's part of the Barbies of the world. Then moving along, I have Mary Poppins and her face looks just like Julie Andrews, which is so cute. I had her for ages and then re more recently, I wanted the Bert to go with it. So I found him on eBay and he looks exactly like Dick Van Dyke as well. So they're such a cute little couple. There also is the kids, the Jane and Michael. I haven't been able to track them down. Hopefully one day I will so I can have the whole collection. And then at the back here is Barbie as the Sydney Opera House so she's got her hair blown back and her dress is all dimensional like the Opera House is and then at the front my very recent additions are the Barbie extras I'm missing number one but I have the other ones here so I've got the blonde the Barbie one with the pink fluffy jacket and the cool pants these are so iconic because they kind of revolutionized the Barbies and the fashion extras fashionistas and everyone went mad for these dolls so they were hard to get for a long time I have this one here and the outfits are absolutely beautiful and so different then I have another one the blue haired one is so cool and if you look closely at her screening she's got freckles so the detail that went into this doll is absolutely amazing and all their clothes are so high quality this zip actually works I've tried it they all came with an accessory and a pet as well and then this one here with the two braided multicolored plaits the movable material on her arm combat boots and her little accessories so they're all very fashionable very fashion forward and so cute I can't wait to get the last one in the collection over here at my desk I just have a couple of dolls set up so I have the 2020 birthday wishes Barbie. I was planning on taking her out of the box to have on my desk, but I love her just the way she is and I think I'll keep her inside there. Then I have two Gwen Stefani dolls. So one's, the one on the left is the Cuckoo Harajuku. Uh, one, she's a more recent addition, more anime-like. And then this is Bananas Gwen. So she's made to look exactly like the real life Gwen Stefani. So next up is my cabinet that's in the games room. So I have that same Billy bookcase with the doors on it. I have a few extra shelves in here because I was storing some Lego, but I think I'm planning on moving that very soon. But at the very top, I have the two Divergent Barbies from the original film of Triss and Four. And they are very detailed. They have their tattoos and everything on them. Moving across with the movies themes, I have the Edward and Bella Breaking Dawn wedding Barbies. And as they fit together, you can see the arch. The Arch of Flowers is made. And then over here, I have another Gwen Stefani doll. And that's her first solo music video, and it's still in the box. So that goes with the set with my other one that I have. Moving down to the top shelf of more TV shows, I've got Dynasty, I've got both of them there in a set. And when you 
put them together properly. There's a staircase that goes up and down. At the back here, I have my Elizabeth Taylor Violet Eye. So she's a silk stone. She's a collector gold edition. So she's probably my most valuable one in my collection so far. Um, she's limited. I think there's 10,000 worldwide. And on the backs of these limited ones, they always have the numbers of which one they are. Next, this is also a new one in my collection. This is the Tomb Raider Barbie. So I got her for Christmas at the end of the year. She's based off the actual live action, not the Lara Croft played by Angelina Jolie. She's the newer live action one. And behind here, I have Grace Kelly from Rear Window. So moving on down, I have Lego on this shelf, Lego on this shelf, and Lego on this shelf, which I do want to change eventually. So this cabinet here, on this particular row, I have all my fashion easters. So I have quite a lot of them. My game, um, aim of the game is to try and collect all of them. So we'll see how that goes. At the very back, I've got the number one and I kept her in a box. And then all across, I've got all different heights and skin tones and hairs and abilities and that sort of thing. So you can see how diverse they actually all are, which is what I love about the fashionistas. There's even one in a wheelchair down there. So she's got a chair. So these ones at the front are the newer ones and they have got really weird bright outfits on but I think they're super cool. Going across you can see more of the diversity. So there's ones that look exactly like Barbie and then there's ones that are different. And then on the very last shelf here I have Holiday Barbie from 2020. There was this colored one which is just like the typical barbie you could also get a brunette and you could get a black one over here is flash dance barbie i've had her for a while now i love dancing i am a dancer so my parents got me this one as a present for christmas one year over here is the wizard of oz barbie but made to look like the original type and then over here is hunger games Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my different Barbies and what I have in my collection now. It has changed a lot since last year, so I'm glad I could share it all for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe and there'll be new videos up very soon. Bye.